office. <laughs> Y'all have done great tonight. We're almost wrapped up. Um, let me say that I am going to support uh, this amendment for a number of reasons. Um, first, let's clarify. We've heard a lot about pedophilia and voyeurism and uh, inappropriate touching. That will continue to be illegal. Uh, this does not make that legal. Um, Commissioner Lotvala talked about what this is really about, employment protections, housing, and public accommodation. And I think we've, uh, the fears that we're hearing about restroom use, I mean, that's what most of the folks here have talked about. Um, I don't know if any of you have actually talked to a transgender person. Uh, that was a new experience for me, Commissioner Roach. Hadn't done that. Um, but we had an issue at Safe Harbor, and the sheriff had to deal with it. And I guess my point is, we all come from different places. And it's our responsibility not just to protect the rights of the majority, but also of the minority. There are transgender people in our community. There are gay and lesbian people in our community. And we are elected to serve all of the people in our community and do it in a way that is fair to everyone. And I think this ordinance does that. Why are religious groups uh, not included? It's because we're respecting the tenets of different religions and not asking them to go against their tenets. Uh, I'm a Christian as well, Pentecostal Christian. And I can tell you when I voted for the uh, inclusion of sexual orientation, I heard from folks telling me I'm going to hell. But you know what? Uh, there are gay and lesbian folks in churches all across this country. And should they be denied the right to work or to live? Uh, one thing I did not hear about was the issue, and I don't know if it's the right term, but hermaphrodites, intersex folks. There are folks who are born with both sets of organs, male and female. And someone makes a decision for them, a parent, who's go probably going through the most difficult time of their lives of assigning a gender to that child. And what if years later that child says, parents picked the wrong gender? And then they have to go through this process. There are folks like that in our community. And are we so just supposed to turn a blind eye and say, well, you're on your own? Uh, my uh, family has a business. We've got one bathroom. You know, and so for us, there's one person at a time in there. It's not an issue. Um, I'd be interested to know, since Tampa does have this, um, does this apply to Ray J in the form? Um, I think there are ways for businesses to deal with this. Uh, in Broward, Palm Beach, Monroe County, Leon County, Dunedin, Tampa, Gulfport, we haven't seen the nightmare scenarios that, that folks are predicting here tonight. Um, this is not about pedophilia. Uh, excuse me, Commissioner. Um, it's not about taking something away from the majority, but it's about what we can do that's reasonable to make sure everyone is protected in our community. Um, make sure I got everything covered here. You know, the transgender folks I've talked to are more interested in privacy than anybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when they go into a restroom. Um, and if a, a guy was just wants to throw a wig on and go in the female restroom, this ordinance doesn't allow that. It has to be a bona fide transition. Um, the reason some of the language that Mr. Valente talked about is in here is so folks can't play games like that. And that... It, Activity, if it's meant to be voyeuristic or harass a person, is still illegal. And so, you know, we heard some of the same fears uh, back when we added sexual orientation. None of those came to fruition. Uh, all the other counties and cities that have implemented this have not seen the, the problems that folks here are talking about tonight. Uh, and so I'm going to support this. Commissioner Maroney. Thank you. I, too, want to thank both sides for their civil 